Hi, I'm the PC Expert Amateur, and this time we're going to take a look at 180 millimeter fans. This will be the first one. This is the Akasa Blue LED, and it's got five of them, 18 centimeter case fan, and a maximum decibels of supposedly 15. The static pressure, it's very, very low. And this fan is not far from being useless except for maybe exhaust on the case. So we can see most of the specifications here, um, although I did have to do a little searching to get some more information. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the fan, which looks like this, and you can see that there's some texturing on the inside of the fan's blades or the concave side. It is very slight, very fine. Um, and then you can see from the other side that it's got the five LEDs. Here's one right here. And then, I don't know why my camera is always, there we go. That's better. And then it's got Molex connectors, which, you know, I, I'm not really sure why they chose to use all four, except for, you know, it's a, a firmer connection because there are four pins that would have to be pulled out then rather than two so that's good but you know ultimately it's still just a two wire fan so this is always going to run at the same speed and um yeah so not not uh not the ideal choice you're, you're better off having a three pin or a four pin fan than a two pin fan um, because you can't control the speed and it'll always run at the maximum possible but it is what it is, right? Now, it's a little bit difficult because my uh, fan controllers are designed for <laughs> three pin and four pin and two, even two pin, uh, but I'm gonna try to make this work so you can actually see it running and hear it. Okay, unfortunately, <laughs> I just don't have cables that are long enough to get this up to the level of my desk, so we're gonna go down. <laughs> And so there's the fan. Um, and I really got to wonder why they put the LEDs like that. I mean, I just, I don't know. I don't know what they were thinking. It just isn't impressive. Um, I don't know why they didn't put a sticker here on this side. Um, but they did put it on the other side. I think they should have put it on both sides. So what we're going to do now is, once I can get this between my legs, I don't recommend putting a fan between your legs because, you know, your your bits and pieces can be cut. We'll just check out the uh, volume. Now that's blowing heat. That's blowing at you. So let's go ahead and turn this around to blowing <laughs> away. I'm sorry. <laughs> Too many things to do. And I'm sure my acquaintance Norcris is laughing at me right now and thinking, TikTok girl! Whatever, Chris. So as you can see, it is really very quiet. So I, I would say that the 15 decibel um, is accurate. And again, the only function that I can see that this would be valuable for would be as an exhaust fan on in the case. Um, it just doesn't have enough static pressure for intake um, unless you're just looking to get air in there. <laughs> It doesn't have super impressive airflow either. It's a fairly average airflow. And that's partially because they have it nerfed to only 600 RPMs. And maybe there's a good reason. Maybe the fan just isn't stable at a lower, uh, higher speed. Let's go ahead and take a look at the specs. All right, so the Akasa Blue LED 18 centimeter case fan or AK-F1825SM-CB blue LEDs. And um, <clears throat> this is, um, 
the one of the, the advantages of this particular fan is is that it's only 25 millimeters thick which makes it compatible with spaces that wider fans would um would not fit into but you know normally this would be in the front of a case or on the side of a case rarely on the top or bottom so it just depends on what you've got so let's see here um it is certified by cea onto rohs made in china 180 by 25 30,000 hours of life i don't think there's any warranty on this it has five blue leds 145 grams which you know that's you know that's interesting i just wanted to show you the spec sheet that i found so this is this is it and it's basically the same as what I've got. Ooh, I forgot about that. 10.8 and 13.2. We'll have to get that later. There are seven blades, 140 uh, millimeters between the holes for mounting, 600 RPMs maximum, 10% variance, um, 51.86 CFMs, uh, which converts to 87 cubic meters per hour. And I did eventually, through that spec sheet, find that the static pressure is only 0.388 millimeters of water, which means it barely moves the water. And the maximum noise is 15, which, as we saw, is seems to be pretty accurate. And... I forgot to write down the length of the cable. I guess I'm losing my mind here. And I believe it was 50 or 51, but let me just double check here for you. Okay, 51 and a half. And you can daisy chain it because it's got the two Molex on there. But uh, you, there's no sleeving. It's just two wires stuck together. Um, and there the LEDs don't have their own cable or connector because they feed off the same uh, power as the fan itself. Uh, it's got a two-pin Molex D connector. And it's a sleeve bearing, 12 volts with, uh, what was it, 10.6? Seven to ten point eight to thirteen point two, and the wattage is rated at point three point six maximum, and the amps are rated at point. Oh wait, that's not uh, that's not this fan, is it? No, this is the. F oh my gosh, this is the next fan. I'm sorry, I shouldn't be looking at that. So that's my bad. Um, so yeah, I don't, let's see. <laughs> yeah, anyways, <sighs> moving right along. No indicators of uh, rotation and flow, but it turns in a clockwise direction. You get four screws with it, and that's it. So we're done. I'd like to thank Grindler at Bleeping Computer for allowing me to share my videos and posts on his website. Bleeping Computer has a lot of resources, including vetted programs, malware removal instructions, uh, malware removal volunteers, uh, other kinds of volunteers for IT, cybersecurity information, and more. It's a great place to go. Give it a try. Thanks for watching and hope you have a great day.